Yeah, those are my vehicles. This is the eight inches of snow we got yesterday. Blowing all over the place. It's really light, fluffy stuff. And there's Margo. Are you done? Good, because it's cold out here. Hi, everyone. It's Stacy from PeonyLaneDesigns.com. Have you subscribed to the channel yet? If not, click the little blue button right there. Don't forget to click the subscribe button, comment down below, like this video, and click the bell icon to be notified. Okay, we're back in the workshop today. So, when I did that project the other day with the, the wall corbels with this paint, I received the comment that, um, possibly with baking soda, so this is a big enough bag, <laughs> that this might do better. So I'm going to try that today because I have some time and I was going to redo these things. I don't know. I gave these a bath, by the way. I just put these in the sink and scrubbed them off. They're a whole different color. It's not even funny. Uh, <laughs> I gotta get used to my new camera. Like the color balance is all off. The, I tried to white balance thing. It's just, I'm really washed out. I don't know what's going on with this camera. I keep trying to fix it and it's just, you're gonna, I may have to go back to my iPhone. Oh well. So for those of you wondering why I have a three and a half pound bag of baking soda, I use this for everything. Actually, the one in my kitchen right now is a 12 pound bag of baking soda. <laughs> they sell them that big. You clean everything with this. So this is my go-to for just about everything. This one's not even open yet. I pulled some out of the 12 pound to mix, but just in case we need more, I'm gonna leave this one in here. This is like my backup one that I would take in and use in the bathroom if I needed it to it's great for softening your water. It's great for cleaning. It's a, it's a mild abrasive. It cleans everything. This and vinegar cleans everything in my house. So just so you know, get it. It's awesome. Deodorizes, cleans it's without scratching, ovens, microwave, refrigerator. Yep. It's my go-to. So that's why I have these giant bags of baking soda. But I've got this cup full right now. Hopefully this is enough to uh, make this paint. <laughs> I don't know. I, I don't know why I'm like, I don't even want to do it. I don't want to do it today. I feel like this is going to be another 12 coat situation. Um, this paint didn't work out for me. But we're going to try it. I'm going to mix it up here. Mix it with the baking soda. I feel like I just want to throw this in the trash, but again, I don't like wasting things. So here we go. I'm gonna mix. I got a little cup. That I'm just gonna pour some in. I'm gonna fill this about halfway with paint. And I don't know how much you're supposed to put in, but I'm going to just uh, do like another quarter of this cup in the baking soda. And then we're mixing it. And I know this is how some people make chalk paint. This is not, you can't make chalk paint. You can't turn a latex into a chalk paint. You can make a textured finish or a chalky finish. Supposedly when you do this and then you add white wax, it looks like stone, right? That's, I'm going to put a little more. There's not a lot in there. I, after it's mixed in, it doesn't feel like a lot. And you can see, I don't know, can you see? It's got a bit of a texture now. All right, I'm going to start on the little one. You can see I've mixed this so that when you lift it up, you can literally see a raised texture on it. I think that's what we want to go for if we want to wax this later. Ooh, it's thick. I don't, I don't, know. I don't know how I feel about this. It's chunky. 
Oh. I don't think it's improved the coverage. Now, I feel like when I'm done with this, I'm just going to end up with something I'm going to have to try and scrub off here. Now I'm just gritty and unhappy. Will this work on like a smooth surface maybe? I don't know. I feel like I gotta try it on something else besides these birds because this is just, it's not covering. I could totally see this white coming through, and if, if this thing had any chance of covering as far as color, this should be it. And it's drippy still. It's drippy paint. I mean, I'm not even putting that... It's got this thickener in it and it's still drippy. Well, let's make a match. They're gonna be ugly, might as well make a match, right? I mean, it definitely has a texture now. That's what we're going for, I guess. I'm just frustrated because I can see the color, this white color peeking through the whole side of this bird, unless I, if I just dab it on. Nope. Nope. I still see the color. Alright. Hopefully that will adjust so you can see what I'm looking at here. I don't know. I think I may have to get my iPhone out. Give you a better view. I don't think... I don't think, I kind of figured it wouldn't, but this doesn't change the fact that this is a non-pigmented paint. I mean, it just doesn't have any coverage. Just no coverage. All right, I'm gonna stop moving it. We're gonna let it dry and uh, hopefully second coat will do something. I don't know. I don't really have a lot of faith. Okay, I think I'm gonna have to do something drastic because I'm so super unhappy with how this looks right now. And all the color coming through. Uh, I think I'm gonna have to do something. So do you remember I, when I was at the thrift store, I picked up these pigments. Um, these are jacquard pigments that you can mix with. Remember I did a glaze a while back. I bought my own um, pigments. This was just an extra set that I picked up of pigments. So you can mix your own glazes, stuff like that. I think I'm going to take this pearl green. It's uh, moss green is what it's called. And I'm going to mix it in here to give it some color and make this look mossy because I'm super unhappy with what I'm seeing. So if I'm unhappy, I'm not gonna continue on with the experiment. So I'm gonna dump some metallic green in here. Okay. Lightly green now. It's a light green. At least hopefully it's got a pigment in it now that will cover. You can see the difference between the colors now. Can you? I'm going to film it with my iPhone just to be sure. Okay, there's the difference in color. Slightly green now. Here's the close-up of why I think I need it. You can see it's not covering. The color just, there's no color. So I could do this a million times. I'm still going to see this white and be super duper unhappy about it. And that one's even worse. 
So you see now why I'm like, uh, this is not working for me. This is crap paint. Don't buy it. Don't buy that. Ever. Crap paint. Oh, there's color on it now. Yeah. Now it's covering. Now the color is actually covering. Because it has a pigment in it now. This is very unpigmented paint. Do not use this. You, I mean, if you have pigments around your house and you've got some of that paint and you want to use it up, then by all means, mix it with some of this pigment. Because now it's covering. All right, I'm going to finish painting it with the green because now it's actually covering. This coat is covering because of the green. Mix some pigment in there. Maybe I'll take one of these other pigments and fill that up. Make it a blue or something. So that we don't actually waste the paint. I would hate to just throw this away. But it, right now it's, it, it's of no use to me. Hmm. I like the green. Let that dry and then try and get on the other side. So the cold is messing with my dry time. I literally went out and watched a second half of a movie, like an hour of a movie and a documentary, and these are still not dry. <laughs> I'm like, eh, isn't that good? Um, it is bitter cold in here. I do not have a space heater in here because there's a lot of flammable things in here. Obviously, you don't want to put a space heater in here. And uh, we keep it roped off from the rest of the house. So the only heat that's actually in here is just kind of what comes out of that little vent over there. And it's just residual. Um, it is what it is. I just have to wait for it to dry. That's all right. I got a lot of Christmas prep left to do, too. I just sat down and had lunch and thought, eh, I'll let this dry. And then I came back in and it wasn't dry. And I thought, okay, I'll watch a documentary and let it dry. And I, I don't know. So I think I'm going to have to find something else to do for a while. This is clearly not working out the way I wanted it to. <laughs> Maybe I'll clean in here. We'll pick up for a few minutes and just start working on some stuff oh thank god they sell art pigments so we can repigment paint i'm gonna go find something to do guys because i can't sit in here and do nothing i've got plenty of stuff to do but hopefully i can come back in maybe a couple hours and it'll be dry i don't know how long it's gonna be and the temperature's got its own plans for me today Y'all, it's now 4.30 in the afternoon. They're not dry yet. <laughs> uh, nope. Uh, Kathleen asked me if these are new glasses. They're new glasses. I didn't tell you guys about my glasses. So I got these from Zenny Optical. I love Zenny Optical. If you get, if you, if you wear glasses and you buy glasses like every year or whatever, um, when you go in, Tell them that you want your PD or pupillary distance measured along with your, you know, everything else. Put that on your little paperwork because that's the only extra thing you need to do to buy these glasses online at Zenny Optical. Yeah, I paid $40 for these delivered with scratch coating and anti-glare and bifocal. 40 bucks total not for the frames total delivered to my door um <laughs> yes i'm a brand ambassador for them i have a coupon code for you guys if you want it i'm going to put it in the description below 
it's 10% off, but every little bit helps and they run sales constantly, like free shipping and things like that. Oh, Zenny. The nice thing is, is like for my sunglasses. Now, the last pair of sunglasses that I bought at the eye doctor, I paid almost $400 for. They didn't even have my bifocal in them. The last Zenny sunglasses that I bought with bifocal were $60. Order them online. Don't order them online. Order them online. Don't order them online. Order them online. I, you know, normally like I'd get my glasses at the eye doctor, the frames would be 200 and I'd be like, Oh God, don't you have any cheaper ones? We have these over here. These are like 175 and I'm like, Oh, just, just really for the frame. How much is the lens? So, um, love Zenny. And when they were like, you want to be a brand ambassador? I'm like, yeah, I do. I've been wearing for their glasses for years. For years so the last ones that i had that were the the purple the dark purple ones the ones before these were zenny my sunglasses were zenny the one the ones you've seen me wear in the car a billion times those are zenny um these with the new brand my brand color on them are zenny zenny optical love them love 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 i was gonna get the same glasses that i got last time because i love them I thought those purple ones were super cute and I liked them and I have them saved in my favorites. So you can just basically like, if you like a pair of glasses, just save them in your favorites and just order them with your new prescription. Every time you get glasses, if your prescription changes, you just order them. But if you're like me and you just want to have some fun with the little face jewelry, you can order more than one pair. So I actually wanted to wait until after Christmas and then order myself another pair of bifocal sunglasses because my prescription changed significantly this last time and I want I want new sunglasses. If I don't have the bifocal on my sunglasses, I can't read my phone at the beach without taking the glasses off, which defeats the purpose of having the sunglasses, right? So I got to get another pair. But they're only like 60 bucks. I could do that. And I can get multiples of these. So for the $200 I paid for just the frames um, at my eye doctor, I get like four pairs of glasses. Done. <laughs> so, yes, I got new glasses. And end of story. <laughs> these are still not dry. Um, I don't know. I think I might just leave them overnight at this point. I have put the paint and brush in a Ziploc bag so it doesn't dry out because I don't have a choice. I mean, I can't do anything till these dry. It's crazy to me. It's crazy to me that it's not drying, but it is what it is. So thanks for watching, you guys. Happy junkin'. Bye. And get your glasses on, Zenny. It's so much cheaper. Visit my blog, peonylanedesigns.com, for more tips, tricks, and inspiration. Thanks for watching, everyone. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon so you'll be notified of new videos. I post every week DIY tutorials and, of course, more Junkin' videos.